please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Thomas versus Nelson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Thomas, you claim you spent six years in a relationship with the defendant, Mr. Taylor, and gave him five beautiful children. In return, he cheated on you and is now questioning the paternity of your youngest child, eight-month-old Ja'Kai. You are here to prove paternity and win him back. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Nelson, you say, while you were home taking care of your children, Ms. Taylor was out at all hours with other men. You say it's her many infidelities that convinced you that Ja'Kai is not your son. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Thomas, why do you believe Mr. Nelson is denying your baby? The only thing that I can think of is because he recently got married. Is that true, Mr. Nelson? No, it's not, Your Honor. It was good in the beginning when, when we first started having children. And then after that, it's like we start, me and her start like both doing our own little thing. And we was already about to split, but she ended up getting pregnant. But at that time, she was already messing around with other guys. So I didn't know who, what to believe. It was Rocky, but I was not sleeping with different men. Mr. Nelson was the only one that I was sleeping with at the time, especially during my conception date. Man, that's but not when true. you first got together, what was your relationship like? Our relationship, it was good. That was my best friend. We did everything together. <sighs> Take your time. I know it's hard. Yeah. You have... Yana, we was both young at the time, and we was both new to the whole parent thing. After that, we started getting... We done got older and grew, and it's like we grew... We, was, we grew apart away from each other, and I still... Even while I'm young married, I still be trying to keep a good relationship with her to, to talk and stuff like that. It don't have to be... We just know we can't be together. It's because it was his cheating, Your Honor. He cheated on me throughout almost our whole entire relationship. So, Ms. Thomas, why put up with that? We went through hard times. Like, why, why wouldn't you want to make something like that work with somebody you had all these years with, all these kids because with, it's too much, and you too just want to? That's why I don't even know the chat. Like, man. I... He he gave up the relationship. I wish it was that easy for me during them times to just throw it away. It was easy. I asked her, Your Honor. I said, Are you gonna leave this guy alone? She said, No. She was like, let me think about it. I even threatened with her. I was like, if you don't leave him alone, I said, I'm gonna go back to North Carolina. She was like, that's on you. So then I left and went to North Carolina, so I was like, I'm gonna give you another chance. And she was like, all right. She, I said, so you're gonna delete everything out your phone and everything, change your number and everything. So and wait a minute, you had it. four children together and then you find out Miss Thomas is with another guy? Yes, that's How what did I'm you to... find that out? The dude picture was popping up on her phone. It didn't start like that. He decided to leave because at that Why time, did we, leave, we did grow apart. I used to find stuff on her purse and everything. She'd be like, I'm going to work today. Because I went to the She'd come back and be like, you like this outfit right here? I'm like, yeah, where you going? Well, you worked all week. If anything, I've been here with the kids all day long, all four of them. Oh, so you feel like she start getting missing? She did. She came in at 5 o'clock in the morning. I was like, where you come from? So, so I'm grown. I can do what I want to do. But, Miss Thomas, now, you were painting a picture about you... Like, you all were in love. It was against we all were. odds. We were. So, what is this... Why then do you start having other men popping up on your phone? It wasn't men. It was that one man. Not men. And why? Why did you get in a relationship with this one man? As retaliation it for his cheating? Basically. So, he seen how I felt all them years he cheated on me. He felt it. And so... So, how long had you all been together when you discovered she was cheating? We was like... We, Five? Yeah. Five years. Yeah. Yes. And four children. Yes. So, Ja'Kai is potentially your fifth child together. It's and hard for me to put a nail on that if she was messing with me and the same guy around the same time. When I got back from North Carolina... Yarna, that is not true. I asked her, I said, you gained a lot. I said, you gained some weight. She was like, oh, I've been eating a lot. And then so what else? Like... And your honor, that same day he said that, we walked to the store and I took two pregnancy tests in front of him. And then they ended up negative. So I was not pregnant. I also had an app on my phone tracking my periods when I'm ovulating. And I have it right here. Jerome, let me see that evidence. Man, they can't go like that. Here you go, Your Honor. So you were tracking your cycle. Yes, ma'am. Yes, was Honor. this with the intention of getting pregnant or not getting pregnant? He actually wanted to me to get pregnant. She told me so, I'm on my she tracker, did all them days like that because she was having tra- unprotected no. sex with that guy. On my tracker, she said, Your so Honor, every as time you I messed with him, she said that's why the things. That's why she every time she had sex with him, that's when that's why she um put it on the calendar like that. So in October, 
It looks like around the 28th is when your cycle begins. Yes, Your Honor. And in November, we see where your cycle ends. Yes, Your we Honor. We see that you are ovulating yes, Friday Your Honor. the 6th to the 11th. Yes, Your Honor. And then on the 10th and 11th, you got sex, sex. Because those are the two days that we had sex while I was ovulating, Your Honor. Those were the two days you had sex with... Mr. Nelson. Mr. Mr. Nelson. Right. Yes, Your Honor. When you were ovulating. Yes, Your do Honor. Do you remember those dates, Mr. Nelson? No, I do not, Your Honor. When I got back from North Carolina, I had went through her phone. I was, she was like, every time I had sex with him, and this is after you left, I started having sex with this guy. So I was like, all right. So then I went back further in her account. I'm like, so what's these days for? She was like... Because I said, so we was together then when he was doing it. She was like, okay, so well, I had a slip up. He was gone, Your Honor. So wait a minute, how did you find out about the other guy exactly, Mr. Nelson? She, I told she, him. She honest, I'm not gonna lie, but she do be honest. I told him. So what did you say? You just came to him and said, I have something to tell you? We weren't he having sex. Act. We was never having sex we were, no more. We weren't. Two months go by, three, I'm like, I started calling my, my friends and stuff. I'm like, yo, if your girl don't have sex with you, for like a whole month straight, what can you do? They was like, what did that mean? I said, is it over? They was like, bro, she messed with somebody else, bro. And you were? I was. Now, Ms. Thomas, when you told Mr. Nelson you were pregnant... Yes, Your Honor. What was his response? He was going around telling everybody that I was pregnant. Man. Up until the time he met Miss Campbell, that's when he started denying my son. Mind you, he was cheating on me with her. I didn't know about her until I found out. She was calling him through Facebook. And he was trying to lie then because he, we were still messing around even when he was with her. I got to See, I wish I had an old phone. I could show you. I have text that. messages also that we still mess around still to this day. Oh. oh. You mighty quiet now, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> no, me and her, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I, and this, I'm gonna tell my wife right in front of her, I apologize. But she already knew about... My wife already knew about it. She had caught me. It was a video and everything. She caught me. I thought I deleted a video out the phone. She went back in the phone. He and only... He's apologizing now because he got caught. All right. Since we have brought her into it, I want to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Campbell, thank you for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Please tell the court when you found out that your husband was now sleeping with his ex. It's a video I found. The video is dated April 3rd, which would have been the... I guess the first day or so that she had um, showed up in Greensboro. All I know is I saw her demeanor when she came around and she was kind of like high stepping. I'm like, okay, this is a person that's supposedly supposed to be so hurt. Like, why is she grinning? And then I saw his demeanor and he looked guilty. Mm -hmm. So I put two and two together, you know, something's not right. Why is she extra happy and he's looking crazy? And because we were so still then, sleeping around. Yeah, because they had slept together. Mr. Nelson, I want to know, did you ever tell Miss Thomas, that you were gonna leave your wife and you wanna come back home with her and the children. Me and my wife had got into some problems. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I was like, what would be different this time if I did come back? My mama told me, that's your covenant. You can't break your covenant for somebody else because that's between me, her, and God. I broke my covenant with my baby mama and I I been repenting for it and stuff like that. And now me and my wife, we back on good terms now. And I How long ago her. was this? April 3rd is the date of the video. So, Mr. Nelson, your wife discovered a video yeah, of you having like sex with your ex, now mistress. Yes. No, I, I just... I made a slip-up. He I had plenty of slip-ups. She's uh, comfortable from going from wifey to side chick. No, I'm not weird. nobody's side chick it's because weird. your husband is the one that tells it's me weird. he wants to leave. But that makes you a side chick. No, it makes you a side chick. We're legally married. No, it does not. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. He told me he married you out of spite. No, I did. Let's get some order. Let's get some order. Both of you all confused. He's sleeping with both of y'all. Okay? So, look. Let's let's clear the air. Neither one of you are on a step higher than the other. Because you may now be his wife, but that's the mother of all his children and maybe another one. Mm -hmm. You all both look miserable. Yeah. I can see the look on your face, Mr. Nelson. Mm -hmm. You decided in your mind that it's possible for you to have both of these women. Yeah. And they let you. Yeah. You're not gonna sit up here and fool me. Because uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't know what they fighting over. So it. now, that look, this is the All question right. I haven't really gotten down to the bottom of. You doubt Ja'Kai's paternity because you say you believe Miss Thomas was sleeping around with somebody else. And I wasn't. Hold on, Miss Thomas, you say you planned this baby with Mr. Nelson. We did. So you 
basically plotted out your ovulation cycle yes, and you made honor. sure you had sex with Mr. Nelson during that window of time. Yes, Your Honor. Did you have sex with anybody else during that window of time? No, Your Honor. Now, you say, Mr. Nelson, you found information that would indicate that she did have sex with someone. Yeah, that's what... Who... who okay, we together for five years, Your Honor. Why would you try to plan a baby? We just have them. That's why they... Your Honor, he wanted like to that. plan a baby because with our youngest child, he said, I don't think you can have any more kids because you're birth control. So, you want to plan on having another baby? Let's go. I had the app, and that's what we did. Right. So, what are you hoping for now? What do you want out of this? I want him to leave me alone, honest. If he's gonna make his marriage work, let your marriage work. I'll try to move forward with my life. He texts me. He calls me and tells me how much he misses me and wants to be with me. Right. It's not the other way around. And I have messages. Yeah, I, 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 and if he wants to be with me... Did you bring the messages to court with you? Yes, Your Honor. These messages are dated from three weeks ago. So, what is your plan for real? You the plan, he says. So, are you really gonna leave her this time? You ask. You respond, Mr. Nelson, I want my family back. Then you respond, Ms. Thomas, I hear you, but you said this last time. And I really need to know if you are serious this time. This the kind of conversation a married man's having? No. I can tell your wife did not know you were having those kind of conversations. I mean, I just wanted to see if, this, see if the baby mind so I can fix everything. You just want to avoid this conversation. I just but want him... If he's going to make it, it work... At the, end of the, at the end of the day... Leave it alone. She leave hasn't me alone. done anything personally to me. In all honesty, everything leave between the two of us is strictly emotion, right? It's strictly because you feel I some just, kind of way I, and I, I feel don't some feel kind no, of way. Honestly, I don't but, feel no type of way. But, yes, but, you do. If but, you're going to make your stop, stop, work, stop, 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 stop. There's no sense in standing here when the woman's just trying to acknowledge that both of you are all are in an emotional battle yeah, right. over a man who's taking advantage of both of you, and then you sit up and say you don't feel some kind of way. You do feel some kind of I way. Really you got don't. four kids. No, you really do. Because... The kids, no, 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 right. no, no. Because I see too much women in your position. Yeah. And you say, if he just leave me alone, yeah. I'll be all right. I will. He, no, no, no. He don't just slip on a banana peel and land between your legs. <laughs> no. I'm not... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We, we, we shoot it straight in here, baby. And you know what? As women, sometimes we just have to be honest enough to say, you know what? That hurt me. That... This is what I wanted. I wanted my family. He wanted the same thing. I didn't know he was married until, what, a week later after, before I had my son. He didn't tell me. Uh, uh, he denied it when he came to the hospital. This is what I wanted. Six years, five kids, sacrifices, everything we've been through. It's like she got it easy. And at the end of the easy. day, he's standing next to her and she's Mrs. Nelson. And that... I could have been Mrs. Nelson you angry. twice. But the point is, is that's enough to hurt any woman. But I could have been... I could have been Mrs. Nelson, too. But you but not. I, no, I turned no. that down. Because right. I'm glad I didn't marry him because I would be going through the same thing right now. I'll be married to him getting cheated on, too. You still... Sad. You still in it. She just got a piece of paper. You, you need to be honest. You're all in this. Yeah. Yeah. So, you can't point a finger at Miss Nelson and say, oh, I'm glad I'm not you. I because am. you are her on the other side of the mirror. Right. <laughs> so, now we got it all out in the open. And I'm glad, Miss Thomas, you finally just expressed how you felt. Yeah. Because yeah. you have a right to feel that way. The only way we're gonna move forward is get these results. And I have them. Jerome? Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as <coughs> follows. In the case of Thomas versus Nelson, when it comes to eight-month-old Ja'Kai Thomas, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Nelson, you are the father. <laughs> <laughs> it's number five. I met him and he already had, you know, four kids with her. So it's... What's one more? I, t 
tell you what one more is. Uh. One more means this isn't over. This child deserves to know his father. His father's gonna have to come visit him. His father is still sleeping with his mother. Mm -hmm. Regularly. Mm -hmm. It's not regular. She's staying in Atlanta. I stay in North Carolina. You know what? I don't know what kind of women you used to dealing with, honey. You should have met your match with me. You can't feed me no line. It ain't that far. We have got to figure this out. Because this is gonna happen again. And Miss Campbell, and I'm not saying this to ruin your day. I just want to enlighten you. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. This is not gonna change. This woman is not gonna stop sleeping with this man. I know. And Miss Thomas, I have to tell you, you gotta make the decision. Am I gonna just be his comfort and his convenience or am I gonna be his commitment? You gotta decide you deserve more. And Mr. Nelson, it's time for you to shape up five kids with this woman. You their dad. You think they want to grow up and know you put their mother through this? If you can't do right by either one of them, then get out their life. We have counseling and resources for you all, and I want you all to get healed. Do the work. I wish you all the very best. Take care of those beautiful children. Court is adjourned.